Hello everyone, how are you all? I really apologize that I didn't upload any video since some days for some reasons but I promise to you that you will get new videos twice or thrice in a week. So today in this video we are going to talk about how to calculate the compound interest rate in your excel workbook using the FV function. To make it clearly understandable to those who are beginners or not from the commerce background, I am going to show this method in a very simple way as my main concern is to make the concept clear. After that I will also going to show you some complex excel sheet as well in my next videos. So welcome back everyone on a new video of Microsoft Excel financial analytics series in your favorite channel technical portal. This is your host Pritam and don't worry I'll give you the link of downloading this Excel workbook into my description box. So go ahead check the description box and download it and practice for further improvements of your skills. Now let's begin. So here you can see that I have a simple database in my Excel workbook. To calculate compound interest in Excel you can use the FV function. Note that carefully this example assumes that this 5000 rupees or you can say currency is invested for 5 years at an annual interest rate of 5% that will be compounded monthly, right? So in the interest amount in first period the formula will be like this and make sure to watch this video till the end because I will explain each and every arguments used in this function, right? So using the FV formula like this equals to FV, you can see its option that is returns the future value of an investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant interest rate. That means every means the future value. If you insert a parenthesis now it is asking for rate and what will be rate that is rate per month, right? So how to calculate it? We can see here that the interest rate is 5% that means that is the interest rate of a year. So we just need to use this interest rate divided by the total months of a year. So you can find the interest rate per month. Note that carefully here rate means we need the interest rate per month. Insert a comma now it is asking for n per. What is n per? n per is the number of periods we use in term. How to calculate it? We just need to use this year that means the periods is in year and multiply it with the months. Insert a comma now it is asking for payment now here as we have no payment mode here so we are using zero as payment comma now it is asking for PV. PV means present value and here we need to insert hyphen or you can say here minus symbol then use the present value. So close the parenthesis and hit the enter button look at here you will get the compound interest automatically calculated in this function. So let's check how this formula actually works. The FV function can calculate compound interest and return the future value of an investment. To configure this function we need to provide a rate, the number of periods, the periodic payment and the present value. To get the rate which is the period rate we use the annual rate divided by periods that is 5% we have divided it with 12 that means periods in month right. To get the number of periods that we have used in n per we use the term asterisk or we have used the c7 into c8 to get the actual total months. There is no periodic payments so we have used 0 here as payment. By convention the present value that is PV is input as a native value. Since the 5000 rupees leaves your wallet and goes to the bank during the term. That means you do not have anything in your wallet so we have used this as negative value. So that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video I'll come back soon with another interesting video of financial analytics in Microsoft Excel. Till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing.